What up, though, Heist Man the Foe? Talk that talk. Oh, this ain't talk that talk. This things I seen on Twitter. I'm a little late with this right now, man, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So, let's see some things I seen on Twitter. Let's talk about this for a few minutes, man. My wife just brought me in my dinner, and it looks great. I'm looking at it right now. I see some smothered pork chops, some gravy on it, some rice. What is that? Oh, my God, my food looks good. I'm hungry. Let's get through this, y'all. He said, if you think you're having a bad day, remember this. Cabbage. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my food still. So remember this woman is standing behind three mannequins. That was funny, man. I seen this online. I seen this on Twitter. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I didn't got. I didn't got. I didn't got hungry, man. Hold on, what my camera at? I didn't got hungry, man. I'm looking at my wife cook this food over here, man. But I gotta get back to the show, yo. That was that. All right, hold on, hold on. This one right here said, "Pick your favorite couple." When we did this, pick your favorite couple. Pick your favorite three, a few couples out of here. There's some dope couples. I like uh, Dan and Roseanne. I say that's my number one because um, I can relate to them more. You know, I'm black and all that, but I'm saying on TV, I can relate to that to that couple more. Um, there was a working man and a working woman, mom and daddy. I can understand that they were poor. They were the niggas. Um, Claire and Cliff, eh. Philip and Vivian. Eh. They were rich, you know, Becky and Jesse, yeah, whatever. I like to paint in, um, what's my man's name? Corey Matthews, they was dope. And I also like um, Whitney Gilbert and Kadeem Hardison. What's my man's name? I forgot his name on the show. Dwayne Wayne. Not Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wayne. So, them three, I picked Roseanne, Boy Meets World, and Different World. Huh? Different World, Boy Meets World. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, them... You know, I don't know nothing about 9021 though. Rachel and Ross, yeah. Jason and Maggie, I don't know them. Diane and Sam, they all right. I like him better with, uh, what's my girl's name? Kirstie Alley. She was cute back then. All right, look at this. They say this is, uh, what's my man's name? Um, Adam 22. They say this is Adam 22. When I see you just bad online. This made me laugh. This was funny to me. <laughs> Make your own jokes. This right here said, when your kid wants to be. Both a hot dog and Michael Myers for Halloween. Oscar Myers is born. That was funny, man. That made me laugh. Good luck. Read these at uh, uh, these lions. This is Noah's Ark and them the lions, you know, two by two. But if y'all know anything about lions, only the male lion has a mane and the woman don't have a mane. So good luck reading those lines. That was funny to me. Made me laugh. What else I seen on Twitter? This right here. Somebody peeled this orange, and it looked like he got a um a ball in his hand. That's pretty dope, man. Big shout out to whoever made that, whoever peeled this orange that way. It took some precision to do this. You really did your thing, though. What else? This right here. This was wild to me, man. This is called Never Underestimate Teachers. Nut all over your school. I don't know who did this, but it was wrong for this, man. Nut all over your school. <laughs> All right, what's this one? What's this one? So one dollar got you um all this back in the days. They got you together back in the days, and we were sitting there looking at this and we were like, with a dollar you can only get two of these things now. You might it's gonna be some nine laters and one or the other, maybe. Like you can't get a brownie. Brownies used to be twenty five cents. Little Debbie, all little Debbie cakes, and tater chips used to be twenty five cents. All them things were a quarter. Now, the chips, 59 cent. Brownie, like, 59 cent. Now, ladies, they about the same. The nine ladies have never had six in a pack either growing up. They had five in there. It was a little bit bigger. So, you know, time changed, man. It's things I've seen on Twitter. This right here. This right here, it got me. First of all, I ain't know what it said at the top. I'm going to show y'all what it said at the top. To, uh, no <laughs> I didn't see that at first but I was going to say we're going to pick one off the ice cream truck which one would you pick off the ice cream truck mine was um number 7 I'd pick a firecracker because those are pretty dope I like them and I like the cream sickle. Um, I'm not going to get a number 5 off the ice cream truck because no I can get that anywhere maybe a chip witch chocolate eclair snow cone choco taco they was the most expensive one the little number 3 Tweety Bird. I like the Tweety Bird eyes, though. I bite both of them off. 
the King Kong, nah. Strawberry Cliff, Push Pop, all those pretty dope. But I, I think I like number seven the most. Or number nine. I think I like number nine. The previous. All right. What's the number nine? Whoa. So how old were you when you found out Katie Seagal and the double mint twins are sisters? I was this old, 40, because I just found this out. You got to be old to know the double mint twins because they don't even have bubblegum commercials no more. They don't even have the double mint commercials no more. They don't even have the double mint twins. So if you old and you know the double mint twins, and that's they sister. Big shout out to them. I see my food, man. I'm getting hungry. Look at this. This dog right here. And this is a dog with, with the suit. I liked it. It made me smile. It made me laugh. All right, what else? This was a nice setup right here. Back in the days, you know, if you had a Nintendo on this TV, you was you was straight. First of all, growing up back in the days, you only had one TV in the house. So if your mama let you play the game on the TV, because you know, don't mess up my TV playing that game. That's how it was, though, man. This brought back so bad. It brought back so many memories looking at this. What else? I think we did this before. My wife told me, but which fries do you want or don't want? I'm going to tell you which ones I don't want. Number two, flat out, period, point blank. I do not like crinkle fries. I eat them, but it seems like they get colder faster than any other fry I ever tasted. Shoestring, curly fries, waffle fries. I can deal with, I don't really like wedges either because they don't be done all the way. I don't really like thick fries. I like thick thighs, not thick fries. I can deal with the steak ones because they look flatter. But crinkle fries and wedges, I don't want them. I can deal with them. I'm picking probably the shoestring or the curly fries off gate though. I think curly fries, they be seasoned a little different from all the other fries. For some reason, they don't taste like other french fries. The curl in them. Alright, this right here. It's a guacamole. It says it, it says itself. It ain't nothing but. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> I keep thinking about my food. I'm looking at food now. Ooh, this was good right here when I seen this online. It said, "Guess the numbers inside of this." And um, it took me a little minute, and everybody figured it out. The numbers is three, four, five, two, eight, three, and nine. That's what I picked out. You tell me the numbers you see. I see three, a four, a five, a two, a eight, a three, and a nine. Y'all tell me what y'all see. Sorry I'm rushing this, but like I said, I'm hungry. Damn, more food. What cereal you, you would you want out of this group right here? I had to pick Apple Jacks. Cocoa Puffs, all Cocoa Puffs taste the same just about. Um, I don't really like peanut butter cereal. This peanut butter and, and cereal. I don't know, I don't really like that. And Frosted Cheerios, no. I like Cheerios. I like Frosted Flakes. I like Frosted Cereal, but I don't like Frosted Cheerios. The Cheerios got their own distinctive taste. Ah, damn, more food. Mini Pita. This, this is online, too. This made me laugh. Most of the stuff just make me laugh. I'm like, huh, when I see it. So that's why I bring it back to the show. I show this stuff on my um, show every Friday at 9 p.m. to start the show off. This right here says, if we lose... We get baptized. If they lose, they go out drinking with us. These are these Mormons right here. You know, you see on the bicycles. They always two of them on the bicycle. The crazy thing about it, when you see these Mormons, they always in the hood. They always in the hood. You all, Nobody mess with them. They come through. They ride through. They knock on your door. You tell them now, nah, whatever. But I don't think no black people ever became a Mormon. So I'd like to say I think they the feds, man. They be... They got to be the police. They got to be the police. They always in the hood trying to get trying to get somebody to convert to the Jesus Church Christ of Latter Day Saints, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though, man. But I like this picture when I seen it. Just like I don't know. I wonder who won this game. Um, did they get baptized or did they go out drinking with the homies? We don't know. More food. I need it. I'm I'm fat. That's what it is. I think fat stuff. Fat. Food make me this. Bleh. This is called Bustos. Double cream. This is like some. I don't know what they are. Some messed up Oreos or something from Walmart. But me being from Detroit or living in Detroit, you know, Bustos is running the train. So they'll be like, oh, there's some stoves. We're running stoves. We're running Bustos. 
This just made me laugh, man. The, some old childhood memories. Wow. Look at this. When I seen this, I laughed out loud. Like, literally laughed out loud when I seen this. This is LeBron James' head. And these are two. I mean, this is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And you know, you take the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup off, what happened to it? That happened. Some of the chocolate cup. <laughs> That made me laugh, man. I'm sorry. This right here is the Batmobile. I thought it was real, but people, it's the, what's the girl name? The Batgirl. This is Batgirl and her Batmobile. When I seen this, I thought it was dope. I thought it was real, but everybody said it's not real. It is artificial intelligence, and they knew it was artificial intelligence because of what it had in the background. It had those, um, the Twin Towers. So that was pretty dope. Who y'all got winning this lyrically? Sip the Shaka, Baby, um, Nick Cannon, Chingy, MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice, Lil Zane, Blueface, and Soldier Boy. My pick was Sip the Shaka because I like Sip the Shaka. Um, everybody else picked who they picked. Nobody like lyrically. I don't know, man. I never heard them by Lil Zane except that one song, Money Stretched Like a Rubber Band. Da, 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 da. I think it was on the soundtrack to All About the Benjamins or something. Um, Blueface, that one song, Tatiana. Soldier Boy, he pretty dope, had some good songs. Vanilla Ice, he only had that one song that I know of. MC Hammer, he did his thing. He had some good records and stuff. Made some money, too. And gave it all to his peoples. Big shout out to him. Right there, there, Chingy. Nope. Only heard that one song. Um, Birdman. Mm, Birdman needs to talk about money all the time. That's all he talk about. Something, 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 something. Money, money, money. All that's all he talk about is money. So you can't really hear his words. And Nick Cannon. Only thing I know. Jiggle up. Spend a lot to do. Ooh, wee. Something, something. Looking for a groupie. So I had to pick. I had to pick Sip the Shocker. That was my pick. Uh, ooh, this one right here. This said, see, Mandela Effect, there was a cornucopia. Everybody said there wasn't a cornucopia on the Fruit of Balloons thing. And this person on TikTok found it. My wife showed me this. And there's a cornucopia on this t-shirt. So, y'all take it how y'all want to take it. Speaking of taking, this woman right here, taking. Carly Russell. It was a meme I seen of Carly Russell. I got a whole bunch of other ones I'm going to put on this video too. I did a video about that. Carly Russell memes. Um, taken for. Y'all know the situation with her. Anyway. That's it. Them the memes I seen. I show I show stuff like this on my show every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all got to come through and holler at me. Um, it seemed kind of rushed because I'm trying to get to this food I told y'all about. My wife made this plate and I'm sitting there looking at it out of the corner of my eye. Keep looking at it. I'm hungry. Y'all seen how many memes of hungry stuff... I'm hungry, man. I got to go eat, man. So, I'll see y'all next week, man. The things we've seen on Twitter, part nine. I think it's part eight. Or well, is this part nine and next week, next ten? I don't know. We're going to talk about it, though. See y'all next week. Anyway, I'll let your boy Heist Man before I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, hit that like button. Y'all know the routine, man. Anyway, I'll let your boy Heist Man before. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace. All right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.